Have you ever seen a lighted fountain like this one and wondered how it worked? You can make a mini version at home to explore how light behaves. You need a one or two liter plastic bottle with a cap, a flashlight or laser pointer if you have one, and a sharp pointed tool like an awl or a nail. I'm using a metal skewer to poke a hole near the bottom of the bottle. I'm turning the skewer to make the hole as neat and round as I can. You might need help for this part. Next, fill the bottle with water. Some may leak out the hole, but if you tighten the cap quickly, it will stay mostly full. To start the fountain, loosen the cap. Water won't come out of the hole until you let some air in the top. To show you how it works, I'm using a laser pointer. I made a holder for it out of Legos. Be very careful and make sure an adult supervises laser pointer use. Notice that I can change the fountain by twisting the cap and letting in more or less air. And look, the laser light is trapped in the water. You can see it on my hand. If you don't have a laser, you can use a flashlight. It's easier to hold and point in the right direction. And this is my two bottle fountain. Let's look at a bigger column of water to see what's going on. This is a tall vase for flowers, the kind that have long stems. I filled it with water and I'm adding a few pieces of powdered milk. This will make the light more visible. You could also use a few drops of liquid milk. Now watch what the laser does. It reflects from the sides of the vase as if it were a mirror. The key is that light travels slower in water than in air. When light changes speed, it can be reflected, in this case, back into the water. This is called total internal reflection. It's how fiber optics works. Let's do it with a small flashlight. Even though the glass and the water are transparent, because of the change of speed, the light is trapped inside the glass. This is a piece of optical fiber. This fiber is much, much bigger than the kind of fiber used in telecommunications, like the internet. That fiber is not much bigger than the size of a hair. But you can see, if I put light into one end of this fiber, it comes out the other. The light is trapped in the fiber, just like it was trapped in the vase and in the water fountain. Light can be trapped and guided by total internal reflection.